Just thought I'd share a little a handy shop tool with you that I've been working on here the past week. Uh, this is an idea I saw on another YouTuber's channel. I'll make sure I include a link to his channel when I publish this. But anyways, it's a uh, set of extensions for my hydraulic press. Uh, if you use one of these things, you know that you can never get your workpiece uh, just at the right height. You always got to extend the arbor somehow. Usually some uh, sockets or whatever round stock you can find laying around. So I've been making a, a set of these guys. Uh, the before them, I've got one left to make. Uh, one inch, two inch, three inch, four inch, I think it is. So this enables you to, no matter what your uh, work piece height is at, just select the uh, extension that's going to work the best. And there's a little, there's a rare earth magnet inside the end of that that holds this in place. Freeze up your other hands for doing whatever. Then when I get the last one made, I'm going to make up a little tool holder off the side here. I haven't quite decided what that's going to look like yet. But anyways, that'll store them where they're nice and handy. So I just happened to have some of this. I'm going to make it out of this. is two-inch round stock. I'm not sure what type of steel it is, but it seems to be a decent quality steel and it's machinable. So first step will be to uh, cut the next one to the rough size and allow enough extra length where I can uh, machine off the ends to square them up. Okay, so I got the uh, blank roughed out, got it on my uh, bandsaw over there. So next I'll put it in the lathe and just true up both ends of it. And we'll start machining it up. Okay, I got it in the chuck. I'm just going to square up both ends now. Uh, it's a bit too much of a projection, I think, to machine it this way. So I'm going to uh, just get the end squared up and then I'll uh, use the live center to hold one end of it. Just square off the face, flip it around to the other side, then like I said, I'll use the live center to hold it better. Okay, so I got the uh, arbor end uh, machined down to 1.2 inches. Then I'm going to flip this around, and this has got to come down to uh, 1.5 inches, give or take. Okay, so I've got the uh, large diameter turned down to size. Now the next thing is I've got to uh, machine the pocket in the end. Ouch. Ow! <laughs> machine the pocket in the end there so the, uh, where the arbor fits in. So that'll be the next part. Okay, so just uh, drilling some pilot holes here for the pocket in this end of the arbor. Um, just throw it out to 5 8 and then use the uh, boring bar to take it to the right diameter. Okay, so I'm just going to um, find the center of this now. And I've got a little center finder chucked in here. Let's find the center, just use a half inch end mill, mill pocket in there and move the magnet in.
Okay, looks about right. That bag gets about an eighth of an inch thick, so I'll just go up to uh, 1.3 or something. Be good. Okay, so <coughs> excuse me. So I glued the uh, magnet in. I used PL Premium. Nice snug fit in there. And that's the last of them. <laughs> so now I just got to build a little uh, holder for them uh, for the press so I can find them when I need them. They should be pretty handy. That's it.